this is my very first YouTube video. I decided to make a series of videos based on my collection of Mont Blanc fountain pen inks. So specifically looking just at the inks, I love their inks. I particularly like their limited editions. They have wonderful colors. They come in very collectible boxes and bottles. And so here we are with a series of videos on those. So without further ado, we'll jump right in today. We're going to start off with Le Petit Prince Sand of the Desert. It is a nice brown color that comes in 50 milliliters. It's this cute little bottle here. You see what I mean? They're quite nice and collectible. <laughs> Artwork on the box is quite nice too. So I have already preloaded my fountain pen with this ink. It's already charged and ready to go. Um, but I just wanted to show you the bottle here. So as I was saying, my fountain pen is charged and ready to go. I am writing with a Mont Blanc Meisterstück Classique, um, also Le Petit Prince edition. It's a running theme in my collection, actually. I love the little guy. Grew up in a French household, and that story is very, very close to our hearts. Uh, so anyways, uh, here is my fountain pen. It is already loaded. And so let's jump right in. Today we have Mont Blanc ink. This is Petit Prince. Sand of the desert. I'm writing with a Mont Blanc Meisterstück Classique Le Petit Prince. So it writes quite nicely. I think it flows pretty well. It's wet, but not too wet, not too dry. Nice balance in between. A couple of little strokes there. I'll chalk that up to having just charged the pen. Um, but I do like the color of it. You can see some variation, especially on the downstrokes, like the C and the P. Uh, quite dark. It almost looks like a brown black at times, uh, like a almost like a brown leather that's like really well worn. I quite like that color. I wouldn't necessarily call it sand of the desert. I mean, I've been to a few deserts and I mean, I haven't been to many, but a few, and I haven't seen sand dark like that, unless it's been like wet, <laughs> which would defeat the purpose of being in a desert. All right, so I digress. <laughs> Let's continue on with some more samples. Yeah, it writes quite nicely. downstrokes and some upstrokes we can patch one of them yeah so you can definitely tell it's a brown um, but it does border on black at times let's see how it dries or let's see what it looks like when it dries all right let's see how saturated it looks All right, let's go over it again. So it went over it once over there. Let's do it twice from this point and three times. So we got one, two, three times. Okay. Let's see how that looks like on the other side. So by the third time, you can start seeing it through on the other end there. That's okay though. That's quite a lot of strokes on there. All right, for this next part, I'm actually going to time it. So I've got my trusty IWC, also Le Petit Prince edition. <laughs> Told you I love that guy. <laughs> but I'm going to use the chrono for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to time how long it takes to dry in intervals. So we'll start with 60 seconds. And then we will try again at 50. And then we have 45. 
And then we'll do 30 next. All right, 30. And then we'll do 20. Or 15, excuse me. <laughs> And we'll do five. And then we'll do one. All right, so as we can see, 60, 50, 45, 30, uh, completely dry. 15 seconds, it's still a bit wet. So I guess next time I'll challenge myself to get somewhere in between that time. Uh, and there you go. If you smudge it, you can still make sense of it. Even at one second, um, it does the job. Okay, let's carry on. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm gonna write this sentence again. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is let's see how it handles water. And why did I write it twice was to compare, just to see what this would do if, let's say you spilt some water on it, is it salvageable? Let's see. All right, so we'll let that dry. Oops, excuse me. All right, so as that's drying, uh, I am also going to show you, so I've been using Rhodia white paper ADGSM. Uh, I have here, in case you use ivory colored paper, uh, this is a sample on moleskin art paper, and I believe it is 100 GSM, um, and it's ivory color. So this is what this ink looks like on here. You can definitely tell the brown a little bit more on the ivory um, as it, it has dried as well. Um, so yeah, on the back, like, See, I think there's like little hints of red even in this ink, but yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, it's definitely a brown, and I think I'm going to be using it quite a bit because I like dark colors. 